Hey guys, Dan McCoy, Arnold McCoy. I uh, wanted to throw a shout out while we were here at the uh, War Memorial Coliseum for the Midwest Construction Expo uh, to DICA, uh, especially Kevin and Kerry Coburg. We recently, uh, I think if you watch one of our old videos with uh, DICA, we talked about the cribbing system that I really didn't know about. Boy, is it amazing. Uh, once I found out about it, I just had to have a set, um, and uh, the operators are already crazy about it. So you can see what's really cool about it here is the, the whole point of this over wood, so an engineered cribbing system. Let's go back to basic statics, basic engineering, not to geek anybody out a little bit here, but what we've got here is a normal force applied by the outrigger, and then what equals that sliding force or resist the sliding force is the frictional force. So you've got the normal force of the outrigger times the friction coefficient of normally wood. But as you can see here, we've got this pyramid, real good stippling, it's this really rough surface so that everything latches real good. So when you start putting these systems together, it's a good tight fit. And that's without a normal force on it. Then we alternate the stack. It doesn't take much effort. Then we've got this really cool rubber neoprene pad that goes on top here. And then just for extra measure, throw your daikon pad on top of that, and there you are. 110,000 pounds you can support right there. Even like this 34 that we have here, you've got an X pattern or you've got an S pattern that comes out. So they're not the old swing out leg, which leaves you with less range or less throw of the cylinders. You run into a lot of situations where you need more and more cribbing, and this is great to have on the truck, and you're not foraging through the job site to try and buy six by six, four by fours, stack it up on. Great system. I'm real happy with what we've got so far, and uh, I think you guys will be seeing these on most of our pump trucks. Thanks.